Hello people, in this video let us look at the extra articular manifestations of rheumatoid disease. So, you know rheumatoid arthritis means it will affect the joints, so arthritis. <clears throat> but, do you know that there can be extra articular manifestations also. So, in this video we will look at those extra articular manifestations. So, it's this uh, disease doesn't leave those people at joints, it attacks everything. So, systemically what they will have, you know, they will have fatigue, then they will have... Um, because of all these joint pain, right? They are not using their muscles. Osteoporosis can set in, right? And there can be muscle wasting. So, these people are uh, having fatigue, you can remember. Now, look at the musculoskeletal. Because of this, see, joints are affected, yes. But there can be muscle wasting, we already told you this. There can be bursitis, osteoporosis. Osteoporosis, again, we told you. It's a common complication. These people will not use their bones that still can lead to osteoporosis. Then tenosynovitis, that is the, that is the, every tendon is covered by a synovial sheath, right? That can get inflamed. So tenosynovitis, etc. can happen. Now coming to hematological, right? Hematological, what will you see? In these people, there can be anemia. In Felty syndrome also, you will see there is anemia, right? Thrombocytosis. There's here they're saying there is uh, excess platelets actually, thrombocytosis. But in Felty, there will actually be thrombocytopenia, right? Esnophilia, okay? In Felty syndrome, where there will be lymphadenopathy, anemia, neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, and then uh, they will be positive for rheumatoid factor. One more thing, splenomegaly will be there in Felty syndrome. Okay, they have written here splenomegaly. Then coming to nodules, they will have nodules here itself. They have shown you nodules. Uh, they will have uh, rheumatoid nodules, right? Uh, what else uh, we should know about nodules? <coughs> some of them may be asymptomatic, okay? Or uh, they can. some of them can get infected. <coughs> so there will be sinuses, fistula, etc. Ocular. So these people eyes also are affected. They will have dry eyes. Character conjunctivitis sicca. They can have scleritis. Okay. Then uh, what else can they have? Vasculitis. Now let us come here to vasculitis. So they can have vasculitis, guys. We are here. See, please here. We are looking at vasculitis. So uh, vasculitis. What did you see? They are talking about some ulcers, right? Skin, uh, sorry, the cutaneous ulceration, skin necrosis, okay, coronary artery, renal artery, occlusion, etc. Some, some vasculitis can happen, okay. Then coming to cardiac. What are the cardiac symptoms these people will have? These people can have um, everything. Pericarditis, myocarditis, endocarditis. So basically they are having pancarditis, isn't it? They can have pancarditis, so heart block, cardio, myopathy. Then coronary artery occlusion, so they have written here coronary vasculitis, aortic regurgitation. This looks like you just write everything in these people, okay. And if these people smoke and all, they have even more extra, extra risk. Then let's go to the pulmonary. See, don't forget pulmonary because pulmonary chapter also, again, they will cover, uh, they will cover some things about rheumatoid arthritis. So in pulmonary, again, what do you have? Fibrosis, okay. That's what the textbook says, fibrosis, which they have not listed here, pulmonary fibrosis. There can be, um, what else? They have written here, pleural effusion, fibrosing. Yeah, that's only fibrosis they have written, yeah. Fibrosing alveolitis, okay. Then neurological, guys, see what happens because of these joints, uh, you know, there can be a joint uh, uh, subluxation, etc. leading to nerve compression. So these people can have peripheral neuropathy. Have you ever heard of peripheral neuropathy? No, no. Uh, I mean, you have heard it in diabetes. Peripheral neuropathy can be there in rheumatoid arthritis also. They can have compression. So imagine they can have carpal tunnel syndrome, right? Because of the median nerve, okay? So this you should see. And then they can have a symmetrical, diffuse symmetrical neuropathy they will have. This is what you should understand. Because left and right will be involved symmetrically. That will give you a clue, right? Then amyloidosis. So what will amyloidosis do? It will go and jump, uh, deposit in kidney and also it can cause renal, renal issues also it can cause, okay? So uh, what is left? here see what i saw is the liver they didn't say anything happens right mostly they said that kidney because of amyloidosis nerves lungs heart splenomegaly then thrombocytosis thrombocytopenia that again is coming from the kidney only right so definitely joints because of the joints the muscles muscles bones bones uh, then uh, what else um, fatigue weight loss etc etc right Eyes, don't forget eyes, okay? So these are the extra articular manifestations of rheumatoid arthritis, guys. Hope you have liked it. 
people actually liver is affected in uh, rheumatoid arthritis look at this in felty syndrome they are writing here abdominal liver function so this will lead to thrombocytopenia so yes liver is also affected in um, rheumatoid arthritis okay